Mike with Iceberg Gaming here, and today I've got another Starfield guide for you. I'm continuing my little mini-series of the best ways to level up in Starfield. Today I'm going to be covering the quote-unquote animal farm, animal husbandry leveling method. This is one of, if not the best ways to level very fast. Leveling does require ammo, though, which is unfortunate, unlike my planet scanning method. But it's still pretty good. With this method today, we are going to be creating a quote-unquote animal farm where we'll be spawning in lots of passive animals and we'll just be able to slaughter them very, very quickly for lots and lots of experience. We are heading back to the Schrodinger system where we were pre previously leveling up. And we are heading back to Schrodinger 3. Make sure you're doing my scanning method of leveling on the way. I'll leave a link in the description to maximize your XP. Now, this that is a separate method from the one in this video, but it, they go together very nicely because Schrodinger is a little bit of a trip away. So you might as well make the most of that journey while you're on your way. But before we get started, there are two talents slash skills that we need. We need level one of zoology. This allows us to get more common organic resources from creatures and allows us to produce animal resources at an outpost. That last part is the important point for our purposes. And we also need outpost engineering, at least rank one. Now you can go farther down the tree to make this method even more efficient, but you need at least rank one to construct and research additional outpost modules. After that, if you go to rank two, you get superior and then cutting edge and then resource and outpost cost fewer resources. So this is worth it if you really want to get into this method, but for we need at least rank one. After that, we need to head to a research laboratory and we're going into outpost development and we need to research domestication level one, at least level one. If you want to get further into this method again, you can go farther, but for our methods, we need at least research domestication one and it is going to take five molecular sieves, nine adaptive frames, 27 aluminum, nine sealant, and nine adhesives. Again, if you want to go to domestication two, you will need outpost engineering rank two in your skills. But And to do so will cost these materials here. And you might want to bring a shopping list of materials as well before you make your way to Schrodinger. Each animal husbandry facility level 1 will require 8 aluminum, 3 reactive gauge, 5 adaptive frames, 3 sealants, and 3 power. And on this planet we can get 6 power per wind turbine, so for every 2 animal husbandry you'll need 1 wind turbine which will take 5 aluminum, 3 nickel, and 2 cobalt. I also recommend you bring yourself a bed, especially if you are on New Game Plus and flying the Starborn ship that does not have a bed. So the bed will be two aluminum and two fiber. This will allow you to get the well-rested buff, which will increase your experience gain by 10%. Oh, and also you can drink some tea to increase it by another, I think it's 2% for tea. And if you have romanced your companion, if you're married, you'll get an additional bonus from that. Now it's finally head, time to head to the Schrodinger system. Now this is the route, this is the backwards route. You can see I'm starting at Schrodinger to Alpha Centauri. So just reverse engineer the route from there and you'll find it if you don't know where Schrodinger is. This is the star route you want to take. And once you're there, we have one more step before we can create our outpost. You cannot make any, you can't have any animal form of any animals that you have not 100% scanned. So you're going to go out there and slaughter some animals. Now I recommend the fox bats for your farm as they seem to give the best experience and if you ever want to actually turn this into a money farm, they produce textiles, luxury textiles, which seem to be the best seller of anything that you can produce from the animals on this planet. So you're going to look for the fox bats in the mountains and hills and you're going to go ahead and slaughter them until you get 100% scan. Now these are swarming so this won't take too long, they will come to you after you start killing them. And just killing them for this method is going to get you quite a bit of XP too, because they are very good XP, especially the higher ranked ones. And by rank I mean level, of course. 
And once that is done, you can plop down your outpost anywhere you want, really. I like the aesthetic of the hills best, so I chose the hills. And I found a nice flat grassland spot here in the hills and plopped down my little outpost beacon. After that, you're obviously going to want to go into the top-down mode, otherwise it's really hard to build. Then you're going to plop down your bed for sleeping, and then start building your animal farm. Just a quick note, if you do want to start producing the luxury textiles from this, you're going to need water and nutrients supplied to each luxury, each of the, of the animal husbandry buildings. So you'll be able to build water extractors here, but you're going to have to supply the nutrients as well. After that, it's up to you how many animal farms you want to build. I do recommend you, if you're going to build more of them, you kind of make the um, the uh, overhang part face each other so that you'll have faster access to each animal uh, to kill them as quickly as you can. There is the bigger one there with uh, the materials if you're so inclined to go for that. But if you've got about... Um, I, built, I built five or six of them, and I think that was more than enough with rank one. So if you just build like six of ranked one, you should be fine. Or you could go for uh, less than that of the rank two. And don't forget you need another windmill for every two of them. So I actually built five of them. And this is the layout that I chose with them all facing in towards the beacon and my bed like this. And I'll show you a little bit of how it worked out for me. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions about this method or any other, anything else in Starfield that you need a guide on, let me know, and I will do my best to get that out there for you. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video.